You know, at this point, most people know that Facebook is sharing a great deal of our personal information, whether it's our, our photos that are posted out there, videos, uh, profile information, identity, those type of things. But what most people don't know is this, that your friends are sharing a lot of your personal information as well for two reasons. Number one, if you have never gone in and customized what your friends are allowed to share, by default, they're sharing tons of information, even if you have locked those security settings down in your Facebook profile, they can still be shared through your friends' profiles. The second thing is, if your friends haven't gone in and customized their settings, they are probably sharing what you share with them to others. It is called a social network, which means it's meant to share information. That's the definition of social media. So when you put it there on Facebook, and it's completely unregulated, you have not customized your settings and your friends have not customized their settings, you can guarantee that that information is gonna be out there in the public. These seven steps will walk you through locking down as much of that as possible at a kind of a beginner level. Thanks. If you take a few minutes to lock down your privacy and security settings in Facebook, it's pretty easy to do and everything we do starts right over here in the account button. If you drop down and go into privacy settings, there are three basic areas that we utilize over and over again inside of Facebook. The first is view settings, the second is customize settings, and the third is edit your settings under apps and websites. If you get comfortable going in and out of those all of the time frequently, uh, you're going to be in great shape. Once you're into the privacy settings page, click on view settings here at the top of the page and that takes you into a bunch of different areas where you can restrict what people can see about you. Uh, how they, if they can see your friend list, your education and work, your current city and hometown, and your likes, activities, and other connections. I tend to set most of these over here to friends only, but you can make that decision as you go along. For the next level of settings, simply go back into account and privacy settings, or if you're already at this screen, then simply down here to customize settings, which takes you to a lot of the personally identifying information uh, that you share on Facebook, relationships, your bio, uh, your religious and political views, birthday, places you check into. All of these settings you should look at individually and make sure you set them to a level with which you're comfortable. A lot of these I only share, I don't share with anybody, and some of them I share with everyone. Uh, in this case, because I use this as a business application, I want them to see my bio and my website. And then religious and political views, birthday, places you check into. On birthday, I would never share that more broadly than, than only with yourself. It's a very dangerous piece of information to, to have out there. And finally, uh, including you and in, in people here now after you check in, uh, make a decision on whether you want to enable or disable that. And you can always see examples of this uh, in, in many of the links throughout Facebook. The final group of settings are down here, the apps and websites, edit your settings. This one will take a little bit more time because you need to go through each of the apps that are, uh, that have access, uh, that Facebook has access into because that sharing of information across apps can really get uh, out of hand. Um, this one here, information accessible through your friends. Your friends could be giving away uh, everything private on you that you have decided not to give away if you don't change this setting. I can't emphasize enough that you need to go in, edit this setting, and limit what your friends can share right here. It's a very important setting. As you can see, I only share a bare minimum of information with friends and friends of friends. Finally, game and app activity instant personalization and public search. In public search, that's how much Google can find out about you and other search engines through your Facebook page. So make sure you go in and take a look at each of those according to uh, the steps in this article. There's one final area that you need to go to increase your security. This time go to account and instead of privacy settings, go down here to account settings. 
Once you're in account settings, and this has changed recently, go over here to security. Make sure you read through each of these, but basically secure browsing sets up HTTPS browsing, much like you would have if you were banking online. Login notifications will email you if somebody logs in that is not from your standard computer. Login approvals uses your cell phone to give you a code in case you're having uh, somebody log in and and it doesn't look like it might be you and you can take a look inside of these log files to see who has uh, actively been logging into your account to make sure it's just you finally you can deactivate your account in this area if you're having uh, troubles or if you want to get rid of your Facebook profile if you'll do me the favor of sending this article along to your friends so that they change these privacy settings I'll give you one more tip on protecting your privacy. Go into account and again to account settings like we did in the last step and then over here on the side go into Facebook ads. Uh, Facebook is in the process right now of determining what they can do with your information and, and how that relates to advertising. There's a lot of rumors swirling around about these but this is the page on which they will finally make decisions on if your photos and your information can be used in their advertisements. I would go in and because this will change very very often I'm not, not going to give specific steps but I would go in and read this page about once a month if you can uh, to make sure you're updated on any privacy changes you need to know about. Thanks so much. Uh, hope to see you soon.